So, my beautiful people, today we're going to talk about the most important thing in this season. And this is going to be the season policy and also seasonal talents. Now, I decided to put uh, this, um, this basically guide or my personal opinion in one video. Just because they're pretty much connected. They're pretty much connected, so... If you want to go in one direction, you should get specific things from the policy, also from the seasonal talents. So first thing first, maybe I'm going to start with maybe the seasonal talents. <laughs> so here we have battle preparation, field morale, battle accuracy and mass warfare. Now, the first thing that I was not 100% sure is what this is supposed to mean. <laughs> I mean... Prayers of the Light. When your legion is severely wounded, they return to your city 100% faster. Now, I, I have different opinions about this. Is If your legion is actually a ghost one, basically your legion get defeated, it's going to return 100% faster. Or, if your legion is in the red line, when uh, you know there is white, yellow, and after this you go in the red when your troops basically get reduced by fighting so if it's when go to red i think this one is fine but if it's only when your legion gets uh defeated i, I don't think this needs uh your attention maybe to starting from there so yeah this, the other option you have is during the season you'll get one stack of gory bounce every 1k uh, 100k merits you receive increase all attack deal by basically one percent so you can actually get this thing <laughs> in the first couple of days basically increasing your damage um your damage by one percent but yeah if this apply for red legions uh it is going to be better from this one that's just going to give you one percent extra damage uh so yeah this is the first thing i'm not one 100 sure about this is it when it's ghost or is it when it's red if it's when it's red like this you're going to reinforce your troops on the battlefield faster you fight you hit like maybe 20 percent you go back you go in and this make the mobility crazy it make the mobility crazy and reinforcement of the battlefield crazy fast so, but yeah, if it's ghost, it's absolutely pointless. The other two things is hack and swash and logistical support. Reduce the cost of resource healing at your hospital by 5%. The other one is when you melee legion uh, get a uh, hack and swash upon entering the, uh, the battle. Increase their attack by 1% every one second, five stacks. So, <laughs> this is very good one. This is very good one, uh, but uh, still, infantry are the here the troops with not that big attack, or I think it's the lowest attack in Cow of Dragons. I have to actually check it out. Is infantry the lowest attack? Uh, they have like uh, 254, and here we have 292. So yeah, infantry basically is the troop with the lowest attack. So I'm not quite sure how much this thing is going to apply, but uh, still, it's going to be a good one. On the other side, we have 5% resource healing here. It's also going to depend on your way you're planning to fight. If you have like 1 billion resource of each one and you want to go for healing, definitely this is going to be a better choice. 5% is 5%, bro. If you heal tier 5 units, ooh, the resource there are what? So from these two things, if I have to pick, I don't plan to spend much resources. So most likely I'm going to go with this one, which is giving like 5% more attack every one second. So for five seconds, you're going to already hit this, um, this 5%. Also, it's going to be right before you, uh, your legion launch their attack, basically before... For example, Magro or Danfell basically launch their attack or Nika or whatever hero that is doing some skill damage, this thing is going to apply with 5%, most likely. Now, the other thing is together for Gori, your army create groups, form infantry or cavalry 
after creating army of group you will receive five percent more merits here is boosting your merits in general i think this is great because in the last season uh there was like pet skill card that is like 600k merits bro 600k merits is so much for one single uh pet card so if you're not one of the whales or at least person with a lot of troops to fight on the battlefield is going to be very hard so i, I think this is something like support for people don't that don't have that much power uh just to get a little more merits and can afford to actually buy out the shops of course there is some moments where there's going to be big fights and there is going to be easy to get merits but for example in week five you fight a what uh gate open blah 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 but the next week you're not going to fight that much so i think this is very great this is very great uh, that is going to give you more merits world legions when they're uh, army you can receive 200 merits per week so yeah it's basically week based just to see how the things working okay uh it's not actually this one uh, maybe you click here by the way if you are if you are not 100% sure what something supposed to mean or how to be done you just click on this thing i think this is a great feature on cow dragons and you watch the small animation here I show you army group how to create army group and you put for example uh, your cavalry and yeah this is your army group i think it's absolutely nice i mean this is great thing that uh, cow dragons actually did just to show you by example how the things work actually now the other one is uh, the most annoying thing that is going to happen in cow dragons especially for the people that, that don't have that much infantry is on the link army after creating army group we saw how we create army group when the army group's infantry units come under attack from rage units on the field, they have 15% chance to reduce damage taken by, by 25 and deals counterattack damage to their target 240 uh, damage factor. Oh. Most likely this is going to be an infantry meta, but this is crazy. This is crazy and I'm going to explain why. Now, if eight legions attack you, most likely you're going to receive 40% reduction of the damage from the range units. 40%. And here you have 15% chance to reduce damage taken by 25% and deals counterattack to their target. Now, here I don't see any kind of... Uh, timer so most likely it's going to be a, just a single one what i mean by that is for example some uh, mage hit you and it's going it's, it's going to have 15 percent chance to do 25 percent uh less damage and deals uh and this thing is going to do some damage factor to the enemy so since there is no timer here it's going to be for me most likely it's going to be a single hit that this is still very good for the infantry this is going to be very good for the infantry is great boost for the infantry but thank god they don't put like two seconds three seconds or five seconds it's just going to be for the single hit and by the way i, I want to mention if you enjoyed this type of video make sure you subscribe to this channel since i make war videos also some tips and tricks or at least to get a second opinion over something uh, from somebody who is absolutely neutral <laughs> but yeah i think this is great boost for the infantry and i'm so happy that this 25 percent is like it's not like for two seconds or five seconds now the other one is most likely for cavalry after creating army group when uh, it's cavalry units launch undying crush at their target in the field they take 40 percent less damage and rush skill cockdown is reduced by 20 percent uh so this most likely is for attacking one target and i think is having like 12 seconds or 11 seconds i think it was 11 seconds to be honest uh this rush undying crush is 10 seconds so by reducing by two seconds going to be every eight seconds and this is just like 
making the infantry jump from here from there i, I think it's going to make uh, uh not infantry cavalry uh it's going to make cavalry gameplay even more fun for me so far the cavalry gameplay is one of the most fun things uh even though that i don't do it because i want to win <laughs> <laughs> okay okay uh battle equity is uh th this one so from here maybe it, I, I explain everything but if i have to go with this uh most likely i'm going to i, I think this is for the ghosts uh, i think it's for the ghosts. so most likely i'm going to go with this one if i run cavalry and infantry most likely I'm going to go with this one since I don't plan to do a resource healing. This one is uh, for sure you have to take it. And I'm going to go with Undying Army since uh, infantry is going to be way more used unit on the battlefield. You may like what the cavalry is presenting here, but if you're not cavalry main, it's absolutely pointless to go with the cavalry. Most likely you're going to run marksmans with mages and infantry or marksman infantry, mage infantry. For sure this season you have to have some <laughs> some legions of infantry on the field if you want your alliance to succeed uh, the other one is increase engineering and increase merits uh retention limit by 200. i think this one is going to be the uh the, the better one because so far it's high like 100k here is going to be 200 and it just give you 100k more merits for the weeks where there's not going to be that much fights you know so I, I think this is better this one is a good one increase the engineering of range units by 100 but this most likely is going to be for Wilderberg and this uh, flying uh, goblins that is also be able to do the destruction part I, I think it's going to be very good for Wilderberg but for people like me I, I most likely am going to go with this one if I have to pick from here when your range unit, units launch a normal attack in the field, they have 10% chance to reduce uh, the target defense by 0.5% for 10 seconds, stack 10 stacks. So if you have like 5 legions running, 5 range legions, and you hit one target, there is like 50% chance to apply this debuff. But uh, still, it's very slow to get these 10 stacks on somebody. Maybe if the legion is infantry, Maybe it's going to get these stacks faster, but in general, I don't see if you attack other range units, how you're going to get uh, all these stacks. The other one is Mars speed of your legion by 10%. This is most likely what I'm going to go. I want to be more mobile on the battlefield uh, and basically avoiding some hits. Because if you strike faster, you're going to retrieve faster and, and there is a big chance to not eat some rage skill, you know, <laughs> just, just to protect yourself, you know, and also go faster on the battlefield, do the reinforcement faster, just march speed is better from this thing. This is going to be great against infantry, but I don't know, I mean, this is the buff that is going to be applied, so if somebody go with this one, you're also going to get the benefits. It's pointless like 20 legions focus over one infantry. I mean, it's not pointless, but the stacks is going to get there very, very fast. Now, this is the other one that is uh, for ranges. When you have at least one range unit in the battlefield, each additional range unit is increasing range attack by 0.5%. So basically, if you have more legions on the battlefield, you're going to get better benefits uh, on point of the attack so yeah so far this one this one this one is for sure and finally arcane hundrance each time your magic units deals normal attack damage on the field target legion lose uh 1.5 march speed uh, max 15 percent five seconds march speed 15 percent reduction is nothing bro it's uh, basically nothing. I mean, it's still going to escape from you. It's not like the charge where 75% is reduced the uh, the march speed. This 15% is absolutely nothing. Now, if it's this attack down, defense down, HP down, blah, 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 down. Yeah, but march speed, no. <laughs> Just no. Oh, and this is the thing that, oh, brother, 
I don't want to see, but most likely I'm going to go with long range warfare, even though that I'm pure mage player. And I'm going to explain why. First of all, 25, 20% less uh, base physical attack is going to affect all the buffs you have. What I mean by that is, if your base attack is like 100, and you have one buff that gives you 10% more attack, is you're going to end up with 110. But if you get this 20% reduction, you're going to receive base, uh, base status like 80. And 10% from 80 is just 8. So you're going to get 88 attack. So this affects all the buffs on the top from the base attack. So this is very nice that it's not so big. It's not so uh, it's, it's big the reduction, but still I'm going to go with one range warfare and the main reason is just I'm going to get like 700k more mages. And by mages I mean marksmans, since even though that it, by this 20% they're going to be close to the celestial uh, attack, uh, not that close, but they're going to be close to the celestial attack. Maybe with little difference. I mean, they're going to have definitely more. But having long range warfare is just going to involve if you're main mage, you and you're out of mages, you can just involve marksmans, and they're going to be absolutely doing the same work. If you have Nico Kinara, they have their raid skill, and they're going to hit from the far away. Now the other thing is the marksmans with medium range are very hard to be played. What I mean by that, you have to be very careful, since you have to get closer to the enemy. And if somebody, if, if three people notice you and turn their mage legions over you, you're done. You, you're basically done. So this is maybe the main reason I'm going to go with uh, marksmans because I'm going to involve my marksmans like a mages, mages with big base attack. I have my Sindrian and Fragar Awakened. Most likely, most likely I'm going to use also Kinara Nico uh, if it's needed when you have a lot of Marksmans. But if I'm lacking Marksmans, most likely it's going to be just Sindrian and Fragar. Build Moral. So for this uh, thing, I'm going to go with this one. March Speed, this one, and Long Range Warfare. Even that I'm main mage and i hate this talent bro i hate this talent i'm not gonna lie i hate the mages have just one benefit and this is the range they hit and the game give this benefit to the marksmen. but still i'm happy that the reduction is bigger it's not like 15 percent like one season five percent is a lot bro five percent is a lot so i'm happy it's not that overpowered built moral Okay, you get 10% more merits, so blah, 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 10, uh, 100 merits per week through this skill, which is very nice. And this one is when your infantry cavalry legions are on army good, they deal 5% more counterattack damage. Now, again, if you run cavalry infantry, maybe this is going to be good for you. But since I'm not, I don't plan to run cavalry infantry, most likely I'm going to run just one infantry legion. Uh, to support my alliance because if everybody go with mages and marksmans and nobody bring infantry bro you're dead in the water you're dead in the water so i think everybody should have at least one infantry legion but this is not enough to actually pick this town so most likely i'm going to go with this one 100k merits per week is absolutely great <coughs> And if you fight like 10 week, which is maybe most likely one season. Okay, let's say it's eight week. Not like, how many? 15, uh, okay, it's maybe six, seven week. Oh my God, my math right now. My, my brain hurt, bro. But still, it's like going to be over half a million merits more. And fighting against tier five, bro, <laughs> unique to every merit you can get. Now here we have high ground. Uh, legions in the last keep deals three percent more attack damage and this is for open field uh, i'm going to go with open field <laughs> i don't think somebody's going to go with the keeps one uh open field i think it's definitely the better one now here we have select one of your legions on the map as a target for example 
after a short charge, five surrounding Alliance Legion get 10% attack for 15 minutes. Bro, I'm not so sure this Legion is going to survive 15 minutes. Does it not apply to legions in the rally or garrison? When Alliance Legion blah blah blah, you also get 5% of the merits they get. So this one is also very good. It's 150k that you're going to receive as some merits, and at the same time, you're going to boost five legions with 10% more attack. This is very very good, and I really hope more and more people actually go with this type of talents just because uh five percent merits just because this talent is a very good one for the team play this one is a very good one for the team play so most likely the uh, uh, for sure i'm going to go with this one i'm going to try to get one cringe warfare and with the thing uh, that left most likely i'm going to try to hit this uh example i think it's a very good one so it's going to be this one this one this one and here we have five more alliance legion can get example but ooh, this is a good one when you cast example on all of your legions the legion and any of your legions surrounding them get example of this does not count towards total number of alliance legions who can get the buff uh, it didn't actually matter which one of this one in general um maybe this one is going to be one idea better since you can catch more from five legions but here maybe here is just you can catch here is like fix it five five legions uh but here is basically in some kind of range of course we can see how this thing is going to happen here is uh you put this buff on this uh, on this uh on this legion and yeah the others is also getting I don't think you're going to receive more from 10 people here but i don't know i don't know it's, it looks same for me when you example one of your legions the legion and any of your legions surrounding them gets is not counts toward the total number of violence legions who get the buff i don't know i mean it's the same it's same close to same I don't think you can going to catch like 100 legions but even some alliance actually make a boss with like 50 legions in one place that can actually get this buff here so it's going to make people fighting more in the bow formation from the banana formation at least my personal opinion and finally battle preparation we have the good old harvester your legion get 15 percent more resources from resource point I, I miss this thing so much so definitely i'm going to go with this one i don't care about the cp since i don't have i don't need arrows i don't need theatry i don't need uh to level up heroes so <laughs> i need resources i'm going to go with this thing uh and this applied to five uh, legions and it's not cp related even though five percent five percent is slow it's not that much i don't care increase the proportion of revived legions of australia by three percent now we're going to go over also the policy but it's not 50 percent this season <laughs> it's not, just just to mention from from the beginning it's not like 50 percent bro uh reduce command points what reduce command points cost of destroying darkling forts by 10 percent okay or oh, by 10 it's a fine one maybe i'm going to go with this one and this one if i have to pick battle preparation just uh, i don't plan to have debt that much debt and three percent is nothing this is just going to i don't know both of them sucks maybe the re the, the reviving is going to be better but depending how many how much units you plan to go and and how much debts you plan to to have because you cannot just rush with the debts and have like five million debts bro where is this thing you basically kill your progress for like three seasons so people should be careful with the debt unit definitely this one land legion gathering Kalan's territory they cannot be attacked i think this one is a nice one especially when you play in the war zone this one of the best things you can 
When gathering from the Alliance Resource Center, Legion gathering speed is increased by 50% and unit watt capacity is increased by 50%. Now, I don't think somebody have an issue with the, with the watt capacity. Most of the times I send my legions and they have like 5 million watt capacity when they go back home or when the resource pit finish, I, I get like 1.5 million. This is like three or four times less from the my watt capacity. So I, I don't think the watt capacity is that important, but the gathering speed 50% is a nice one. I don't think it's also going to affect that much the gathering in general, since if you are right now, uh, most likely you're going to have very decent gathering speed. Uh, maybe I'm going to get gold, gold gathering speed. Uh, it's like 209, bruh. 209% uh, gathering speed. That That's crazy amount of, uh, crazy amount of uh, gathering speed. So, but the other one is increase your warrant capacity by one. I think this one is going to be better. I think this one is going to be better. So if I have to pick from here, it's going to be this one. Most likely, if I want to go and kill some troops, it's going to be this one. After this, it's going to be this one. And finally, I'm going to get one warrant more. Now, the good thing about the seasonal talents is you can get all the seasonal talents. It's not like uh, rank top 10 in the glory points or... You know, there, there is no reduction who can get more seasonal talents. I think everybody can actually get uh, seasonal talents this season and basically get all the things they want from here. Because, yeah, in the previous time that this thing was presented, you need a glory point. You need to be something ranking and stuff like this, which is uh, not going to lie, a little annoying. It was a little annoying. So let's jump over the policy. <clears throat> So, as you can see, I already start here. Chain of command, spread the word, prestige, and CP recovery speed. I don't care that much for this one, but it's going to be needed to level up this one. So, I care. <laughs> From here, you know, daily elixir production and some resource healing, which I don't care about the resource healing. Here, the question most of the people have is should you go with 50% enemy gathering resources except game? If your main cavalry go with this one, because most likely you're going to kill a lot of gathering people around the map. But if you're a person like me that don't have time to go and run around with the cavalry trying to catch up some Kewa in the resource knot, go with this one. I think this one is a better, but if your main cavalry this maybe is going to be better fit for you. From here, we already now know that stamina limit bonus definitely have to be leveled up, especially if you plan to do reinforcements of your legion. And by reinforcement, I mean uh, you fight your uh, your legion become yellow or fifty percent. You go back to your castle, castle, you reinforce your legion, and you go back to the battlefield. Now from here. 100% infantry counter. We're going to see a lot of infantry this season. If you don't believe me, just wait to your first fight. We're going to see a lot of infantry. And the other one is cavalry, but we don't see much cavalry on the battlefield. But infantry, infantry, infantry. <laughs> this is going to be the main focus. Since it's going to be long range warfare, most likely, a lot of people are going to use their marksmen. And we're not going to see mostly mages. So I go with counter marksmen because marksmen are painful for mages. And that's why I go with marksmen. Even I'm going to have marksmen legions on the battlefield. So we're going to see more and more marksmen. And I think people are going to prefer, prefer healing marksmen over mages. Just because of this long range warfare. So I think we're going to see more and more marksmen on the battlefield. And this is the main reason I go with counter marksmen. Because most likely I'm going to fight more marksmen. From mages. Now this one is can go up to 20%. Basically reviving your 
uh, your troops. Last season, I actually forgot to uh, level up maybe three weeks before the season end. I check it out. People was talking. Okay, don't worry. We're going to get like 50% uh, from your dead troops at the end of the season. And I was like checking mine how much percent I'm going to get. And I was like 36. And I was like, how do you get? How do you get 50%? Why well, I have 36? And I missed this policy here. <laughs> there was like two extra points or three to put here. But yeah, I'm going to go with this one. Of course, warrant capacity of make a way. This season, we also have bastions <clears throat> to start with. We're also going to have bastions. And make a way was the most annoying thing. Now they make from 30 seconds to 20 seconds, but this don't change anything. 20 seconds is from the other corner of the map is still going to do the work. So I'm not so happy with make away. Increase the amount of time uh increase the amount of time that legion cannot be obstructed, blah blah blah. Basically from zero seconds to twenty. Yeah, we're going to have this bastion problem again. Here, increase elixir capacity of your hospital or elixir production speed. I suggest elixir production speed. Now, last time we have a policy, I was suggesting elixir capacity just because when the war starts, you're going to have already that uh, some capacity that you can spend. And in the same time, it's not like six hours. And when you go to sleep, you don't lose any kind of elixirs. Uh, if you want to sleep 10 hours, if you want to sleep 12 hours, it didn't actually matter. You're not going to lose any kind of elixirs. But uh, something that if you go only on production speed, you're going to, you're going to lose, basically. But this season, <clears throat> I suggest go with healthcare uh, reforms. And I'm going to explain why. This is going to give you 2.5% more speed. But that's not all. That's not all. Uh, because later we're going to see that, okay, I'm going to say it, I'm going to go with this one. And this one is increase elixir capacity limit by 100. So this is going to take the pressure out of my shoulders, you know. <coughs> uh, but this increasing the elixir capacity limit. I think it's absolutely great, absolutely nice. And just because of this new adaptation here, I'm not going to go uh, with elixir capacity limit. I'm going to go full elixir production speed. On the bottom, I don't care. I don't spend that much on the uh, resource healings. But if I have to pick something, maybe stockpile is going to be a good one. Because if you want to do a huge resource healing in the huge fight, you're going to have this opportunity because you're going to just have uh, like two days of resource healing which is crazy number ah bro i don't want to think about that military expiration warrants this can go to two i think it's nice here i already mentioned i'm going to go with uh repre repre with this one bro and is daily resource healing we don't care that much about this daily elixir production 20 even though that here is 50, the reason I'm going to go with this one is because of this elixir capacity limit, which is going to just provide me with full coverage of, of this 24 hours. I'm going to receive all the elixirs. There is going, not going to be issue I'm going to sleep or something like this. So this, this thing is way better. Now here, prestige giant is 10%. At some point, you don't, you know, you're not going to care about the prestige. Especially with this new, uh, I think maybe last season was presented in Cow Dragons, where they boost how much uh, prestige you're going to receive from Darkling Patrols, Darkling Creatures, ports, and this uh, type of thing. So you're going to get your prestige very very fast so this thing is nothing the resource healing here is better here you only get like 20k more elixir production but you get elixir capacity limit which is giving you advantage when the fight start you're going to have like 100 percent more elixir 
and this one is for the whales the mina bonus 50 percent which is brutal people can non-stop fighting but again elixir capacity limit is something that i focus myself uh and that's why i'm going to go with this one now 50 percent more stamina last season actually happened to me two times to finish my stamina only two times and that was basically because i was jumping over the castles it's so hard to finish your stamina especially with uh this policy where you're going to get like 50 extra stamina so yeah <coughs> from here Elixir production speed or daily elixir production. I, I think elixir production speed is better, so most likely I'm going to go with this one is 5.5%. The other one is going to be like 100 extra elixirs, daily elixir production. <clears throat> so here is also depending how much uh, troops you have. But I'm going to go with uh, elixir production speed. I, I think it's just just better. Uh, <clears throat> or maybe not. Maybe not. Let me think. So this thing here need a li need little more research, to be honest. Because last season from the policy I was getting like two hundred and thirty extra. 220k extra elixirs uh and i go for elixir production i have like uh, 2.5 and 5.5 and at the beginning you also get this thing i mean this thing here which is 35k but yeah and for me i'm going to go with uh elixir production speed again just because i have a lot of troops and i, I think this one is just going to be give me benefits of this here i don't care but yeah daily elixir healing really don't care it never happened to me to fully finish my resource healing uh in one day it, it's never happened to me it's just so much resource healing you can actually get if i check even my hospitals uh <coughs> elixir healing resource healing 2.2 million troops bro do you know how much this thing it is <laughs> it's huge number maybe for krakens or whales maybe it's going to be good but not for me i mean it didn't actually matter what you're going to pick here maybe this one is going to be better if i put it on random i really don't care about that one Ah, group tactic, harsh march, stand alone. Increase march speed of army groups you create by 10%. Increase defense by 5% when legion is in army group. Uh, when you are not in army group, legion deals 2% more damage fighting again uh, an army group on the field. I think here maybe the defense is going to be good since... You don't need that much march speed. March speed is a good thing, but I think five percent more defense is going to be is going to benefit me better, especially if I'm mage. And something I have to mention now: mages. Uh, the specific about the mages is their mage uh, defense is even more from their HP. So having uh, more defense is going to increase this number. That base status of this number is already very high. So, yeah, I think this is going to benefit you good going with the defense there. <clears throat> Light the beacon. And, yeah, this is garnison damage, rally damage. Here we have merit gain rate. Legion get more merits when in army group. Okay, so army groups is going to be something very important this season. It can go maybe 10%. Yeah, it's going to go to the 10%. So army groups is going to be very important this season. Now I'm not so sure what the army group is supposed to mean. Maybe uh, deploy, uh, multi create, or where was this thing? Uh, I think it was from the rally army group. Your alliance is not currently at war. 
Okay. Okay. But we saw how the army groups are created. Maybe there's going to be great benefits from the army groups. Uh, definitely is going to be a great benefit. So this thing is a very nice one. This thing is... Uh, well, says policy to your own side, servant to your with that. 5% more damage when both sides on the battle have this policy enabled. I think this is going to be a sneaky players that is going to use this 5% just with the hope the other peoples don't use this thing because they don't want to use the loose troops and this thing is only if the both sides have it so maybe there's going to be people that are going to try to do some sneaky num tricks there <laughs> but uh, not most likely i'm not going to go with this one <clears throat> Giant one merit for one of your tier four, four units that die. Get one merit for every one of your level four plus units that die. And this is get one elixir for one of get one elixir for every one of your that die. I don't understand that. Is that a permanent increase of the elixirs? Uh, not so sure about this. That's uh, this season. Oh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, still, eh, both of these things most likely you you want to go with since if you if some of your troops die, you're just going to get some benefits here. So in total, this is going to be for seasonal talents and uh, the policy. Don't forget to hit one like if you enjoy this video. So far, if you are already here that long in this video, most likely you enjoy this video. So yeah, please come on for your boy Burgi, hit one like for for me, and <laughs> and of course. Uh, let me know if you have any suggestions in the comments below, yeah, or if you're interested in any kind of topic related to the season and yeah thank you very much for watching this video and i hope you have a great day if you want to support my work you can become a member of my channel and get access to all membership videos and all the live streams on top of that you're going to also get shout out in every video i make till you have your membership plus you have 15 minutes discord call with me answering your question and helping you building your account